The inspiration uh, for this project comes from a combination of the local and the modern. I believe that Banyuwangi has a long and strong history and it also has a wonderful culture. And I wanted to be able to combine those things with aspects that are modern that allow the project to be something quite future facing. So what I wanted to have was a project that is a complete package of both culture and innovation. So the historical elements that I really paid attention to. First of all, it's the uh, natural environment that has historically been here around the airport. This is also a contribution from the regional government before this project started actually. They created regulations about the surrounding area. No new buildings are allowed to be built around the airport. So all the paddy fields are preserved, all the gardens are preserved, the villages are preserved. And so that uh, natural landscape that has historically been part of Banyuwangi becomes also a part of this airport project. The second historical element is the cultural element. So because Banyuwangi's culture is strong, because the architectural traditions have been preserved, I was able to draw inspiration from the Osing roof, which is a traditional roof uh, from this region. This roof is porous, it is breathable, it allows heat to escape uh, through its structure. And at the same time, the porosity of that roof allows sunlight to come through. So I took inspiration from that as well and designed huge skylights with filters that allowed the same experience to come through in this airport. There are several ways I have made this project um, integrated with the traditional context. The first uh, is through the use of material. So the usual material used for Osing roof is the terracotta roof tile. And in this project, instead, I chose to grass roof. So uh, the roof is covered in grass. And this allows this roof to blend in with the surrounding paddy fields. So it feels like uh, the paddy fields are extended up to the roof of the airport. And another thing is that because I use uh, ironwood for the roof and it creates this crown over the airport, then a lot of people might associate that instead with the headwear, the traditional Banyuwangi headwear, the uding, because it has uh, peaks, peaks like a crown and also like the roof of this airport. The scale of this project is quite large for Banyuwangi. So chiefly, uh, the biggest challenge often came when we wanted to do things that were not usually done in Banyuwangi and then we had to talk it out with the stakeholders and figure out how they could be realized. So first of all, uh, for example, with the wooded lattices, at first it was difficult to convince uh, the contractor that we could have these thin, wooden pieces and have them connected using a small metal rod because um, usually people would use thick, chunky, horizontal blocks to keep these lattices together. So we were able to experiment and do some trial and error and convince them that you know, it could be done and this could be implemented for the entire airport. And the next thing, the next challenge also, was translating the Osing roof because the Osing roof is traditionally used for small structures, like houses, and now we wanted to create an Osing roof for a very, very large building. The challenge there was to um, find a way to make this structurally possible because it was important to still have structural integrity, whereas the principles for that for a large span and a small span are quite different. And as architects, it was our duty to talk to the contractors and the engineers and figure out how this could be made possible.
the function of this project is an airport. The first thing that comes to mind when we're talking about the purpose of this project is that we want it to be a gateway for the easternmost part of Java. Previously, before this airport was constructed, the closest city people had to go to if they wanted to travel by air was Surabaya. And Surabaya is six hours away by train. So with the existence of the airport, we hope that travel can be more efficient, not only for people in Banyuwangi, but also people from neighboring regions. This airport can service a thousand people per day and that adds up to about 600,000 people per year. So as a gateway that is one of the purposes of this project. And the second thing is that I have a wish that this airport could become kind of a benchmark for a small airport. When small airports are built in Indonesia, uh, we have this airport and then we can say that it's possible to build a small airport that is cost-effective, that is beautiful, and that also has local elements in its design. And we hope that this wish can be realized in future projects.